Hello and welcome to another Monkey Makes 3D Blender tutorial series. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps the page pop up in any searches. As far as I've seen, it doesn't appear anywhere at the moment. A bit annoying, but I'm sure as it gets a bit more popular, it'll start appearing. So anyway, here we go. So first off, we need our blueprints. Just to a search for, oops. Look, I'll search for that already. So Ferrari and images. Do with uh, these downloaded at some point for reference images, but we'll do the, the blueprints first. And blueprint. All right, let's have a look at these. That's a decent size, that one. Blueprints one's quite good, but has the, the watermark across obviously to make you want to buy it. Download free blueprint, that sounds good to me. And has dimensions. Okay, so it's got that little plus in the magnifying glass, so click on that again, do a right click, save image as. Already have that policy of over it. Yes, please. Then go into Blender. I was going to do this in 2.93, but the the screen uh, screencast keys didn't seem to work. So I'm going to put them on. So just hide these. Don't need to see them for now. A scaling cube, of course. So shift A and image, tell you what, to get that you need to go and edit preferences, add-ons, in there just type image and tick import image as planes. And that will give you that option in the add, there we go, image as planes. So Go to where you saved your image. Full stop on the keypad. Hasn't displayed. Oop. So, into here, people trading to texture. Okay. All right, we'll just put that in the images folder. All right, we need to dice this up. So, we've got all the projections. So, tab for edit mode. And do a control R. And then slide that up. This has got them nice lines for the ground plane as well, there by the looks of it. So, although that seems to go off a little bit there, that could maybe do with a slight rotation. Anyway, another control R. Shift to slow it down. And I'm just lining it up with that line there. Another control R. Slide that down. Shift to slow it down again. And again, just lining it up with that edge there. Right, I've noticed something with this actually. See how these indicators in the bump are, are sitting slightly proud on this image. <coughs> but if you follow the curve, from the front you shouldn't actually be able to see them. That seems a little bit strange. So of course the proof of can't always follow the blueprints. Anyway, well we're here, we shall do a control R again. Add that one in there. You know this might be easier for in the side view, so three on the keypad, or numpad, control R again, shift the sort down line up with the roof. So I'll do this roof on here also, control R, slide it, I'll shift to slow it down, there we go, control R, the rear, we can line up with that line there, this one here, that misses that one so it must be for that one, and it misses that one, 
Wow, blueprints. Control R. Lightly up at the bottom. Just do with the panel. Oh, and of course it misses the top one. You can never make these blueprints easy, can they? Control R. Laying up with the top. Save the panel there again. I need to change the colour of these lines. I think the rocks make it quite awkward to see. Alright, sliding it again. Shift to slow it down. There we go. Alright, I think that's it. On oh, the front one. Control R. Last one. And then up with the front splitter there. That looks slightly out again. So we'll just have to take that into account. Okay, and so three for faces, or polys as they're called. And highlight that. P separate by selection. Two, three. P by selection. One, two. Separate P by selection. And this one. P by selection. Right, tab out. Highlight the first one. Just press delete, we don't need that. This is F2 to rename, and we shall call this PP set. Do a set origin to geometry. Zero that. This one is um, F2 BP front. Right click set origin to geometry. Oh, see that's went slightly over to the side there. That's because I forgot to remove that edge there. So highlight that edge in edge mode. Control X and tab back out. Set origin. Geometry, there we go. So drag through that. Zero. The same as this one. This has got an edge in also. I like that one. Control X. And F2 rename. PP. Rear. Right click again. Origin to geometry. Click and drag through them to zero. Final one, what can we name this one? Four. BP top. Right click, oh hang on, this one's got extra edges in there as well, hasn't it? So, I like them too. Control X. Origin 2 geometry. Drag through there, zero. There we go, right. So we need to rotate this top view on the Y axis. Rotate Y minus 90. Rear, so rotate on Z. Mm, possibly a minus 90. We shall find out in a second. And front, also do rotate Z 90. I've got a feeling they're around the, the wrong way. Okay, so that's a front. Let's move them out of there a sec. In fact, whilst we're here, center them over the wheels. Into three for side view. This is just to check we've got the right width. See there, they are slightly different widths, aren't they? And by the looks of it, this edge needs to be out as wide as that. Right, so what we'll do first is <coughs> where's our image? Let's put that over there. 
percent. Right, so scaling cube, we need to have Z is 11.24 millimeters, don't forget to put that on, by 4.35 on the Y, or 4.435. Or <laughs> 0.358 even. Not entirely sure where I was looking there. And the X was the X1970. 1970 millimeters. Can do that either way. So now control I to invert the selection. Side view. And then if we just scale them up, just aiming for the length. Split out the bumper. So yeah, out there. So what we'll do is we'll move the scaling cube. So we can centre there up. Invert that selection again. It you know us. Oh, scale. Oops. Shift to slow it down. So lining them up. There we go. Pretty much. going to say because of the tyre size that's why they are just slightly out so then hide the scaling cube for now right right so this one oh no I can't see I need to, need to make sure it's the right width don't we right so scale x Making sure that they fit in there. Scale X, that lines up. How to button this side doesn't. It's quite awkward seeing them black lines there, right? Right, so this one also, scale X. Bring them edges in so they line up. And the front one. So this wing, or oh, are we going to be wing or a fender? Scale X. And of course that doesn't match up there, does it? Fantastic. i just centre that. So it's in between them, same gap either side. Scale X again. There we go. Looks good. Right, so all we need now is these, not the the, the top face. Three. Move them up there. There we go. What is that? Oh no, what's just that box? So we can hide scale and cube. Fingers crossed. There we go then. Nice quick simple one first one. Oh. <laughs> Don't click that one. Just that one for selection so we can't select it, select it by accident. Do our control S. Save. I had one practice earlier. Let's save over it though. There we go. And there we go. I'll catch you in the next one.